Welcome back. As I mentioned in the um, objective overview video that we are going to learn how to write K or KB expression and I also said A stands for acid, B stands for base. Now statement two is very crucial, okay, what I mentioned in the previous video is Formation of H3O plus is one of the product indicates you have an acidic medium and formation of OH minus is one of the product indicates you have a basic medium, right? Now, all of this is only applicable to weak acids and weak bases. You won't have a Ka expression or Kb expression for strong acids or strong bases respectively, all right? So to write a Ka expression is no different than your K expression, okay? Water is obviously not included, only aqueous is included in the reaction. Uh, pure solids and liquids are not included. With that said, let's actually look at a sample question. Now, first thing you've got to determine is whether your acid, well, what you have is an acid at all in the first place. Yes, I deem this is an acid. And this is now one of the six strong acids, so this must be a weak acid. Okay, and you look at right away that one of the product is H3O plus. That means we have an acidic medium, right? So when I give you this expression and I have you write the Ka expression, I may not even say, or I might say Ka expression because we have made H3O plus. Now I could also just give you HF plus H2O to actually test your knowledge from Lowry Bronsted. That's essentially what this is. This is Lowry Bronsted. So hydrogen gets donated here. This is acid. This is base. So you have H3O plus plus F minus, which is what this equation is. So Ka expression would be ratio of concentration of products over reactants so it's f minus you do not have to state the aq that's what the square brackets themselves mean is it's replacing the letters aq and then h3o plus over hf you do not include h2o which is a liquid you can safely assume that i will always give you these two and probably what's inside the bracket so that's something you do not have memorize however I might give you the full equation or I might give you part of the way like I did above and have you figure it out and then write the Ka expression this is Ka because A stands for acid and you write Ka expression for acidic medium okay now something very cool I'll show you in just a second uh, Kb expression all right so let's look at an example as a statement two again if one of your product is OH minus, then what we have is a basic medium. And anytime you have a basic medium, you have a basic expression that is KB equals, again, ratio of concentration of products over concentration of reactant and water is not included because it is a liquid. And B here stands for base. And just like above, this is base, this is the acid, because anything with nitrogen is a base. So the hydrogen gets donated here, which is why we have, this is the conjugate acid, this is the conjugate base, and in the previous case, this is the conjugate base, and this was the conjugate acid. All right, so you're writing your K expression, or Ka and Kb is exactly the same, it's just in the previous case, we did not recognize the expressions as A or B. In this case, we are uniquely recognizing. So chances are, I may not ask you to write K, I would just ask you to write K or KB because, you know, that's kind of what we will use the most. All right, so let's, actually I got two more things that I want to wrap with this. Okay, now there is something very important that I want you to understand. You do not have to memorize. Let me repeat, you do not have to memorize this equation. There are two equations. I mean, uh, one is normally what you will see, but I'm gonna give you both. It's the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. 
Um, there's uh, one for acid and one for base. You do not have to remember either one. This is basically pH equals, this is the way you will find your pHs for weak acids and weak bases, okay? This is one of the ways, but there's also another way that I'm gonna actually work it out in, pro in case of an example, and I'm gonna come back to this particular equation in a completely different video. But this is something I want you to remember because this is Henderson, this is for an acid. Now, this is very important. Ka is a constant, okay? Remember the Ka I wrote earlier? That's unique for each acid. Ka for HF is not say as Ka for HNO2, okay? And at 25 degrees Celsius, you know, say Ka for HF is one of the weak acid, HNO2 or say H2SO3, which is also a weak acid, or HClO, these are all weak acids, okay? Ka for all weak acid, they're not the same, okay? They're not equal, means they're not the same. They all have their own values, okay? So to find pKa, it's basically negative log of Ka. So you will be provided Ka, which is not something, again, you have to memorize. I don't think anybody can memorize Ka. So it's pKa equals negative log of Ka. And then uh, I'll show you pKb later. So you will be provided Ka, and you can find pKa using this. And then we will use the equation, as I said. We don't want to dwell too much into the equation. CB stands for conjugate base concentration, as it stands for acid concentration. So in the future, when we learn buffer, we will use this equation again. So if I ask, if you have to solve a problem for a weak acid plus, you know, water giving this, if you have to write the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation for this, the first two parts, you cannot change them. Okay, because there are physical con physical values that you'll calculate. But what you do need to replace is, this is the conjugate base concentration, right? So this is the acid, so this is the concentrate conjugate base. So you will write it as log of F minus concentration over acid, which is HF. I might just have you write the Anderson-Hasselbalch expressions for a given acid or base reaction. All right, so um, hang on one second. Sorry, I had to connect my charger, otherwise my computer would have died. <laughs> And um, so do you see what I did here? Okay, pH equals P, this is a generic expression, okay? I might just have you write a Henderson-Hasselbalch expression for, you know, a reaction like this. So this is the conjugate base, and this is the conjugate acid. If you're dealing with, you know, an acid, Anderson Hasselbalch, it's conjugate base over acid. I will give you these values. Now, you all, in fact, you did use the last time when you did the, you know, the domestic household items. You calibrated it. Actually, I told you I calibrated it. I used a buffer to calibrate it. When does a system or a solution becomes a buffer is when concentration of conjugate base equals to concentration of acid. In other words, in this particular case, if the concentration of F minus is equal to concentration of HF, then this whole thing becomes zero. That means, in other words, pH equals pKa. Voila, this is buffer. A buffer is something that resists change in pH, okay? So how do we achieve a buffer when the concentration of conjugate base equals an acid? That's generic. 
or for a given case, conjugate concentration of the conjugate base equals concentration of an acid. When this situation pertains, you know, the log of CB versus um, acid equals one, which is log of one is zero. So pH becomes equal to pKa, and this is the condition for a buffer. And I also want you to remember, this is the fifth equation that will be added to your four equations plus this, so it'll be six so far. And let's move forward. Similarly, just like how we had an Anderson-Hasselbalch equation for an acid, we have one for a base. And you see everything is different. POH equals, whenever you have a base, you don't find pH directly. You find POH and then find pH. And just like, you know, how I said pKa, I'm going to rewrite it, is negative log of Ka. So if you know Ka value, you can find pKa. Similarly, pKb equals negative log of Kb. But the tricky is, People never give you KB. Now there is actually KB is not reported that often. What they will give you is, even if you know OH minus is one of the product, that means you will, you know you have a basic medium, right? That means I should give you KB, but I will give you KA. Then how can you proceed with this problem? Because you need PKB. Well, that's what I said, KA, times KB equals one E to the negative 14. So if I give you KA, say, I mean, this is made up number, 1.6 E to the negative four times KB equals one E to the negative 14. You can find KB, which is one E to the negative 14 over 1.6 E to the negative four. So this is another equation you do not have to memorize. So this is the henderson hasselbalch So if I ask you to write a henderson hasselbalch expression for expression, I'm not asking you to solve a problem, I'm just having you write expression because that's the first phase in the learning process. So we know this is a base. So this must have been the acid. If this is base, this must be the conjugate acid. If this is acid, this is the conjugate base. And anderson hasselbalch equation for a base is POH equals PKB plus log of conjugate acid in this case is NH4 plus concentration over your NH3 concentration. Okay, concentration is not same as pH or POH, just so you know. Again, what is the condition under which buffer exists? POH equals PKB. It's not butter, it's buffer. All right, so there are two expressions, Henderson Hasselbalch. We won't use the actual expressions, Henderson Hasselbalch expression to calculate pH and pOH because we will use a modified version of Henderson Hasselbalch without the log function. However, we will use this formula more often when we learn how to actually prepare a buffer solution, something very important. Your blood is a buffer. I mean, uh, you eat acid, acidic foods all day. It tries its best to keep the, the body free of acidity. But if you've just you know, had enough KFC chicken with mashed potatoes and potato wedges and a whole bunch of acid, acid, acid on top, well, your blood eventually is going to give up and say, well, I've tried my best to keep the acidity out of your body, but you just don't seem to stop consuming acidic food. So eventually you get heartburn and you take sodium bicarbonate, which is what's in your, in your Alka-Seltzer and you bring the blood back to its normal buffer. All right, so all that seems like Greek and Latin to you. Well, we'll come back to it again. But I do wanna bring that here in this context so that you see the sense of it. So, I have circled every equation you do not have to memorize. So to find pKa, I have to take negative log of K, K. To find pKb, you take negative log of Kb. Ka times Kb equals one. This is very similar to your H3O plus times OH minus equals one e to the negative 14. It's exactly the same thing, to be honest. It's just different names to it. 
Anyways, we're going to stop this video here because, again, I want to introduce Anderson Hasselbach and Buffer in the context of this because it's very, 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 very important. And I will see you with another video. So stay